and welcome to Creates Cards video channel on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to use a product that is called Faux Metal and it's actually contact paper. I got it at our local Lowe's. It ran about seven dollars for the roll. Um, it's 20 inches wide by four feet long. When you go to use it, it's very, very curly, as you can see. So what you're going to actually do is take a piece of regular cardstock, cut it whatever size you want. This just actually peels off. You can just take your fingernail and you peel it. This is a protective backing. Go over with it, smooth it out on the cardstock and then as you can see it completely flattens it. So then you can use it for, um, you can actually use it then in your Big Shot. And this is the card we're going to, um, this is the card we're going to do next week in our card class here. So what I'm going to show you to, how to do is this top note die with the embossing. Okay, this is, we're going to use our Big Shot, my favorite machine. You take one of the cutting pads, you take the top note die, set it down, we're making what's called a sandwich, then take your faux metal, put it upside down. Oh, I should tell you too, this product, the faux metal, is made by Duck, so if you're looking for a brand name, put your next um, cutting pad on top, start cranking it through, grab here and just continue cranking. As you can see, comes right apart. Next what we're going to do is we're going to put it through the embossing folder and with doing that we need the multi-purpose platform. Okay, we're going to open it up to tab one push this through, put down one of our cutting pads. Um, one thing I wanted to show you with the cutting pads too, as you can see mine are very worn. It just shows they've been used. Until they actually crack, there is no need to replace them. Okay. With the embossing folder, if you feel it, you'll, you'll feel that there's a part that goes down and then a part that sticks out. So you want the metal part to go over where it's going down, line it up where you want it, um, and then you're going to close the lid on it. Then you're going to set it down, and, I, and this one because it's embossing down I'm going to put this so the metal sides down. Put my cutting pad back on. Push through and then start cranking. This is a little firmer to crank. If you hear popping or creaking, it's okay. Your machine's not falling apart. I'm going to set this aside. We're going to open this up. Look at that great texture. So we went from totally smooth to embossed, and then we've added it to the card. So quick and easy, great way to use um, your Big Shot. I love the machine. Use it all the time. And this is my first video with it. I guess I'll need to do some more. With your remaining uh, foam metal that's left, if you have an embosslet, you could use that. Just be careful. This is thicker than regular cardstock, and it's definitely not meant to be used with your paper punches. It's going to be too thick. You take the chance of um, damaging your punches. So I'm not recommending at all that you use it with your paper punches. The Big Shot Big Z dies can handle the thickness um, and the density of this, so the Big Z dies are good. The embossing folders work fine too. If you have any questions, please let me know. My blog is createscards.blogspot.com. Feel free to leave any questions or comments here or on my blog. Thank you again.